Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Get my windows up to speed here. How are y'all this morning? Everyone doing okay? Inkwell, Monster, Mark, Tessa, Loveless, Evan. Good to see y'all. It's a little warm in here today, chat. The air was up to 83, but it's at least working, so it's going down. So I have coffee to drink, but I'm holding off on that because I'm already a, a sweat show in here. <laughs> Who else is sore from a workout? Uh, not me. <laughs> no workouts here. So, good morning, Mike. Morning, Alan. Tumula Pumba. Good, good for you. Good for your workout. What may I ask? What your workout contains? My wife is a is a workout maniac, and uh, she does all kinds of different things. So. Very tired this morning. Up too late last night. So I've been going to bed later than usual just because I'm not tired at night or I get in the bed and I just space out for a while and like can't fall asleep so I've been doing okay during the day so I'm probably getting you know an hour or two less sleep a night but I'm like I'm not doing anything in the day to make myself tired that's probably the problem probably why I can't go to sleep I'm impressed with your commitment to the button down I'm living in the t-shirt in this heat I can't just do straight t-shirts that's usually not my jam um it's just always been my thing. So that's why I have so many of these, like the the Masubi shirts. So me and Daryl, we're going to make a shirt shirt lineup pretty soon. So first time viewer from Myanmar. Good morning, Donnie Ronnie. Thanks for joining. So Sarah, you keep waking up at three and can't go back again. That's not my problem. Once I'm, once I'm asleep, I'm good. Um, and I'm always been like a fall asleep guy, like, you know, 15, 15 minutes or so. Uh, Corinne, thanks for the sub. Where's your cheer? You didn't get a cheer. I'll give you a cheer. Hang on. Turn that on. Go, Corinne. Thank you. 14 months. Just started your first Misubi. What is your cover and your paper style, Andrew? Because apparently I have to ask that question now. Um, because of the bank paper and the different cover types, things like that. Pull-ups, push-ups, planks, and some squats. Love it. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds awesome, Tumbalopuma. Good for you. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. You're boring. Tomoe River in the Blue Waves pattern. That would have been my second choice. Um, if I didn't get the indigo, I was going to get the purple or the green waves. That would have been my, my choice. But I wanted to get one of the... I, did, I, I can't buy too many of them, right? Like, I didn't need two, but I bought the fabric cover that I want and the bank paper for me. And then I have the uh, the folio one to see what he's going to do with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm, I might give that away or, or something, but the indigo one is mine. I'm just, I got to get through this notebook to uh, finish it. I don't, I, yeah, I don't need to. So I'm almost halfway in this. This is a Midori MD, which doesn't have a ton of pages. How many pages do the MDs have? Does this mean 176 pages? I don't know. How much is that? Power Belly, 17 months. Thank you. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate you. So yeah, I can't tell. It has a 176 on the back, but it's the rest of it is in Japanese and I can't read it so this is the 10th anniversary a5 the folio one is excellent the folio one is um, like the um, Nanami but with a better cover I really liked it so I want to see what he's gonna do he's gonna make covers for those right separately what's the what's the story on the folio I didn't I'm, I'm a little bit behind that what notebook my Masubi? Yeah, that's going to be my next notebook. This notebook is the Midori MD. Any news on future lookouts? I'm hoping to have some in-depth knock news within a few weeks, if not a month. And then I we have them. They Our factory has the order for them. They're not making them right now. But I'm trying to fix all that. I just need a few weeks. And then I'll have updated knock news. So it seems like every every six months we have to do a knock co update because just things aren't moving right now. But I'm about to 
I'm about to unleash the Kraken on some knock um, if I can get some things straightened up on the back end. I hope you're thinking uh, the, through the future of knock is fruitful. Yes, that is the plan. I am very excited about future knock. It's just I got to get to future knock. <laughs> that's That's been the killer, man. Getting to future knock has been frustrating it's an it's a it has been a wonderful business exercise to understand knock and try to understand knock cal riddle 15 months thank you buddy appreciate it so yeah future of knock is bright according to me um and i'm the only one who should it be according to <laughs> i feel like i feel it's good but i am hoping to make some announcements Give me a month. I, I, I can't say exactly. And then I'll have some better definitions. I will say this. One of the announcements will be that we're going to do something with the wax canvas. Um, black and black and aqua wax canvas, Brass Towns and Sinclairs. We'll do a pre-order sale for those. That is coming. You can book that. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet, whether it's going to be Kickstarter or direct. So that'll be with that'll be in that same month time frame. Miss G's, welcome, welcome. I like I like the little high emoji. Morning, Shmevelin. So yeah, you know, give me give me another month or so. Well, it, I hope so, Sarah. <laughs> it's taken a while to get to the point where I felt comfortable doing that, um, but now I'm there. But I need to tie up a few things before before we officially launch it. What's funny is I've had the sample prototypes for so long. This so this is how I think, y'all, right? So I get my prototypes, which y'all have seen me carry the black brass town and the black Sinclair. And I carry them all the time. But those are my only samples. Like if I want when it go, comes time to have to sell them, we're gonna have to use the one the pictures, the only pictures I'm gonna be able to take are the ones I've been using for like six months. So that that's the kind of stuff that I think about. I think it's funny that I won't have these pristine cases i could get some more made it's not a big deal but that's the kind of stuff i think about like it's it's just one of my problems so <laughs> so we'll just figure out if we're going to do it direct or um kickstarter i was full speed ahead on kickstarter about two weeks ago and now i think i'm full speed ahead on direct yeah I can show how they age. I just won't have a before picture. <laughs> I'll have an after picture for both of them. You know, and the, the wax canvas, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't photograph pristine anyway when it's new, right? Because it has that gray tint to it. Even though it's black, it has that grayish tint to it. So they don't photo photograph like a, a, a pristine product, you know, so direct tumbala plumba yeah there's there's challenges with both to be perfectly honest you know kickstarter is obviously the cut right i'm gonna lose eight to ten percent but direct is um a little bit harder to manage a little bit not much harder to manage um and the shipping is different like I want to charge shipping, <laughs> shipping for these, but we, we do seventy five dollars free shipping, and then I think that's good if we do it direct. Like there'll be a, you know, I'm I'm working on all this, so we'll have to see. Just sell aged cases. That's actually not a bad idea. It's like a like a like a nice whiskey or a scotch. This is the this is the eighteen month instead of the eighteen year. So this is the eighteen month, you know, Brass Town. I definitely have some 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 old brass towns that are in really good shape. I found a red and navy one yesterday, y'all. I gotta figure out what to do to the do with these. I should like auction them off for something. Red exterior, navy blue interior, gray thread was one of my favorites. It was the reverse of the the navy and red one that we did last year. So, anyway, there's gonna be pay attention for knock news, if you're. Oh, I have no idea K9 play. I literally just said that out loud for the first time, so I don't even have a clue. I would probably do more of a raffle type thing. I like doing raffles as opposed to auctions. An auction per week as a buildup? 
yeah that's that's a good hype train move andrew i like that hey good morning hobby 100 i i just appreciate all y'all's support and y'all's patience with us getting knocked right like it's it's a challenge like i said a minute ago like that was my first business like that came before pit addict and i've made a lot of mistakes with knock um nothing too dire or anything like that it's just hasn't gone as smooth as i would have hoped to at this point we're like seven years on and like we're not just smooth sailing and that you have to learn that that's business right you know i'd hope by now we'd just be you know cranking widgets but we're we're, we're basically gonna start <laughs> we're into about into nopco version three coming up pretty soon starting underway hola anton appreciate the follow thank you so much so yeah stay tuned if you're not on the knock mailing list you should be it's at the bottom of the page go to knockco.com at the bottom of the page click on the i think i think it says newsletter get on that i rarely send anything i try to only send me mails when uh, i have things to say so it's a uh, it's a very uh low volume newsletter but it has all the important stuff when we make changes and you're going to want to be on that list here in the next month or two just for what's coming up soon all the way back to whoever asked about the lookouts so the next lookouts will be clay and sand clay exterior sand interior and raven black so raven exterior black interior like the current sinclairs and brass towns and then the other lookout will be clay and then sand so kind of a natural earth tones color kickstarter versus direct do direct you're a seven-year-old company yeah I, I i am comfortable doing direct i just have to i really have to think about these things like you miss like little things like sh like i'm gonna do all this direct right so here's what i think about and sorry the lawnmowers are going outside so here's here's my thought process behind direct so i do direct i keep this campaign let's call it a campaign on knock for 30 days maybe it's two weeks maybe it's four weeks whatever so you have 14 days 28 days let's just say that whichever i choose probably 28 um you go in on day one and you you pay me right i take your money on that day right and so this is probably at least a six months out project so i'll hold all that money which is fine the thing that always gets you on a pre-sale is future ch shipping charges so i almost have to keep a separate pool i have to keep a pool of money to pay for the product and then a separate pool of money that's just shipping charges for when it comes and i have to send 500 orders out or however many i sell that's thousands and thousands and thousands of shipping dollars that you have to account for on the front end and that always just makes me nervous shipping is crazy expensive like for a, any type of sale or we'll spend i'll spend i'll bet i'll spend like seven or eight grand shipping these retro 51s you know and i have that pool of money set aside right for the kickstarter project but that always tends to bite you in the ass when you collect money up front and then you don't ship for six to nine months i hate that <laughs> that's my least favorite thing is paying shipping later so all right that's my rant that's my shipping rant um and especially with the the all the ups usps hassles right now so there's a that's a whole thing helped a lady in the look in her eyes yesterday when the shipping put her in the red it's no joke it's no joke speaking of usps i got my stamps coming i'm i'm caught up on memberships except for five i ran out of stamps for but my stamp should be here probably today or tomorrow so if you're a new pen addict member and you have a member or we're on the membership list i think i'm down to like the last five to send which means i'll be able to send out some notebooks here pretty soon so notebooks take second priority on that so yeah there you go there's my there's my kickstarter shipping direct sale manifesto for today is that good <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm so angry right now. I'm like legit upset at this world that we live in right now.
Oh, Tessa. I love that. I love that so much. I'm going to write that down. The only problem is we've done so many purple exteriors recently, but that's just a killer color. That was a, that was, that was a good alliteration by me. <clears throat> oh, I was wrong. So Brian corrected me. He watched the stream Tuesday when we unboxed all the roadies. The Joker roadie is actually called, we decided to call it the Jester. So it doesn't get confused with the Joker. So we don't have a Joker standard and a Joker roadie. We're going to have the Joker and the Jester. So that'll be the deal. Sorry, I'm writing this down. We should have done that last time. So we'll eventually, yeah, we'll maybe maybe have a Batman. UPS, USPS, I've shipped nibs, notebooks, etc. And watching them move across the country, you can see where the hangups are. Yeah. And like our international shipping, like for Knock and for the Panatic stuff that I ship through the shops, um, the international is just a nightmare now. Um, I got, I have uh, someone in Colombia right now that I can't get their package to. Like it gets, it just gets returned to me because we don't, we're not shipping to Colombia right now. We've talked about this before. K9 helped me out with understanding that. Um, so like, it really puts businesses in a in a pinch. Any oranges uh, for cases? Yeah, I want to I want to make the next seed orange, but we're really having a call for black seed A five cases. So I want to do orange and gray seed A five, but I think I'm going to do black and aqua first. And those will be small runs. Those will be like one of the other things I've learned with Knock is we're going to do smaller smaller runs quicker turnover type stuff so that's one of the things i'm working on atlanta just ate a package of mine yeah i mean our miami's our export port and that's that's where my package is going to die for international i just have to re i've reshipped two different international orders this year i mean this week or in the past two weeks that have been out since may and they last scanned in miami but we just had a spoke we just had a spoke pen that took four months to show up. Someone just emailed us yesterday. And we'd already sent them a replacement that arrived. So they they were nice enough to say, Hey, I love the product. Let me just send me an invoice for the second one because I, I want it. And uh, it's it's insane right now. So it's a crapshoot, honestly, which is which sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I said that wrong. In the last two weeks, uh, New Zealand and Germany, I've had packages just vanish. I want to find someone who can make the binding of an A5 seed a bit wider so it takes the disc. Yeah, I mean, that's a great idea. Like, we'll never stock that item, but I understand that item. As someone who carries the William Hanna, I can't fit my cover in that. Oh, K9, I need to do that, right? I need to go in and... I, it has the pink sticker, and I need to go in and accept my re, uh, put in my refund on that. Thank you. I will do that. Cause yeah, that's like a the Columbia one wasn't that bad. That's probably only like thirteen, fifteen dollars. There's a spider that just dropped in front of my. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not I'm not swatting the jaw or, or anything. But there was a little teeny spider that would just drop down. Can you get Jeff to make one for Andy? Probably. I mean, if does Andy have two years? Probably. So we could work on that. I'd have to get me made one first. I'll, I'll be the, the guinea pig. <laughs> oh. I got to move this speaker under my foot. Panatic hype. Waiting for the Notco bag. I hope Jeff and I can make a backpack. I mean, Jeff and I are hardcore backpack users. And... We've had so many prototypes come through that we're just not content to sell, to, to put our name on, right? It takes a lot to put our name on. Backpacks are hard. We do just talk about pins in here. I mean, we talk about other stuff. We're talking about business right now, B. Dean Cow. But yeah, it's, this is a pin, this is a pin channel. Uh, I am the pen addict. Go to penaddict.com. I write a blog about pens, have a podcast about pens. 
I, I live the station. I live a stationary life in more ways than one, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, this is what we do. It's totally a thing. You know, I don't have a good show show and tell for you uh, today, B Dean Cow, but we we do talk about pens, and I usually like Tuesday. I unboxed a ton of pens. Unboxed a ton of pens. So today we're just hanging out and chatting for like an hour or so. I'm totally gonna get Jeff to make the Brass Town double wide prototype. So we're gonna see. We're gonna. Uh, I'm going to submit a request to him soon for a Brass Town double wide. That can't be that hard, and I think it would work technically. Recommendation on a pencil sharpener? Do you want a a portable sharpener or a desk sharpener? So do you want to take this sharpener with you, um, like in a bag or a backpack, or do you want it to sit at your desk off a lotter? And then I can give you one. We ha I have plenty of pencil sh pencil sharpener experience. You sh Miss G's Crafties, we had a really fun stream. Tyler was my co-host on Tuesday. We unboxed 10 new roadie pens. Penaddict.com. Um, we unboxed a bunch of roadie pins and Yoseka stationery and cult pins and Masubi. So if anyone missed Tuesday, I rarely say go watch the replays. We had a really good show on Tuesday. I just received my Topo Mountain backpack that I was supposed to take to my grad school orientation week that got changed to virtual rip. <laughs> I think Eliz I think Elizabeth is the, is the streaming is the streaming star. Tyler is pretty quiet and shy, but you know, he's got 2 years to grow into that, so. If you go back in time and start the pen act again, what would you do differently? God, that's a great question, Anza. If I could go back and do the pen attic differently. God, you're stumped. Let me think about that. Like, there's things I, I change and update and, and do, um, you know, continue to grow and improve. But if I went back and, like, did something different in the beginning, I'm, I'm having a tough time with that. Um, I'd still, I'd, I'd hate fountain pens less 10 years ago, maybe. God, I keep kicking the speaker. <sighs> Yes, Tyler did do a good job. Um, a rec for both. If only one, a desktop sharpener, the Uni KH20 or Mitsubishi KH20 is my favorite um, for that type, for a desk sharpener. It's expensive. It's like 20 to 30 bucks. Classroom friendly also has a, a great one. And for handhelds, I like the Coom Long Point Two-Step. It's a plastic sharpener, and it's got a little uh, container to hold... Uh, to hold the um, shavings in the uni's 25 okay thank you oh that yeah that's that link above yes thank you so handhelds i like the the plastic coom one the two-step or the black wing branded one same essential same, essentially the same sharpener that's about seven bucks and it's a it's a long point i did tessa yeah it was about eight years ago or so i got better i got way better except I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any fountain pens inked up. I'm I'm holding. I'm holding fast, except for the Curidos right now. Hang on, my my wife's blowing up my text. Let me find out. Okay. So yeah, I don't that that doing something differently. Like I guess it's good that I don't have a like a real simple easy answer for that. Uh, my Namiki was cleaned, Alan. I have to give it a break every now and then. But as I was getting ready this morning and just hanging around the house, I was jonesing to fill a fountain pen. I'm not going to lie. Beating Cal, appreciate the follow. Yeah, I don't have any fountain pens ink except the Curidos, which I'm probably going to review. I don't know if I'll do it this week. It'll be either this week or next week. But I'll I'll have a fountain pen ink probably by tomorrow or Saturday. Like I I'm just uh 
trying to figure out what I want to do. I no real reason get a pet other than like it's good to take a break and adjust. And I was stuck. Um, I did. I wanted to try some new fountain pen ink combinations, ink and pen combinations. But I didn't want to add on to the currently ink pens that I had, which was at 11. I didn't want to go up to 15 or 20 um, to to do. Um, hot take request, Curidos, wait for 2.0? No. I would say go now. That's where you're going to... Uh, that's where you're going to find this. Uh, beating Cal, do you do this full-time? Yes. As of four years ago, this is my full-time job. The Pen Addict the podcast. I'm part of two businesses, Notco, which makes pen cases, and Spoke Design, which makes pens. So this is my full-time job now, but it encompasses a lot of different things. Yeah, so I just got the Twisby 580 Prussian Blue, right? That will be inked up this weekend. Because I'm probably gonna ink, I'm probably gonna review the um, the linen toolbar um, blue black ink that I received. Coffee time, Tessa. I'll cheers to that. Sort of off topic, uh, Lear Lenny. Sort of off topic. What computer system do you use? I don't remember if you ever mentioned. So when I stream, I'm on Windows systems, but at home, like for all my writing, I use a MacBook 13 inch MacBook Pro. That's pretty much it. So yeah, I use both. Yeah, so at the top, Beating Cal, you'll see a link to podcast. And it'll just take you over to the podcast stream. Or to the podcast link, and you can add it, add, the, add the feed into your podcast podcatcher. Sure thing, they're learning. But yeah, like all of, all of the pen addicts stuff and all of my business stuff and all my writing stuff is done on a... 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I think, like, this one's pretty new. It's like a year and a half, two years old. I think I will continue ramping that down. I'll never get into like full iPad lifestyle, but I think my, my next laptop would probably be something like the iPad Air. Like, I don't need a lot from a laptop, but I do need a laptop. I, I can't do full, full iPad life. Is it ever weird how much people notice your life details? Not really. I mean, I'm I I like to share, so it's not it's not too weird. Like y'all like a lot of people know this is the Masubi shirt, right? And like it's fun to have those kind of jokes and 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 little things like that. Oh, yeah, so the top 5 list um is probably the most popular page on the blog. And then if you listen to the podcast like Foolish Fox says in the chat, started episode 400. So we redid uh Pen Addict 101 for episode 100. I will I will start some files on the iPad in Ulysses but just for posting to the blog and updating like inventories and uploading pictures and stuff I just I really prefer the Mac experience <laughs> Ulysses I think is my favorite app by a, a long shot like that if an app went away tomorrow that i would miss the most it would be ulysses i know there's other really solid options out there and i've used them all i've used ira writer i've used bear nothing compares to ulysses for the way i work whatever happened to the uh fiber optics at your home the poles are there everything's buried so we're just waiting for turn up and uh, they're gonna have to run it to the houses and things like that so i don't anticipate it anytime soon but it's coming. So we will be streaming more Tumba La Pluma at that point. <laughs> Evan needs a bigger screen for his Excel uh, uh, turnip spreadsheet. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing, y'all. I'm scared to go back into my island. I think all my villagers will be mad and they'll have a lot of weeds. But I like picking the weeds. So I need to, I'll probably go back and play this weekend. I, that summer stuff, summer stuff looks really fun with the swimming and all that. So I need to get back to that. Um, I do want to ask y'all a question, which is what I put as the stream title today. Because I was thinking, I do a lot of thinking. Um, and I was thinking this morning about a stationary wish, wish list. And I feel like we've gotten everything we've wanted this year and that there's nothing on the horizon, which is okay. Like, I'm not saying like, hey, give me more stuff to buy. Like, that's not where I'm going. But as someone who follows this um, 
consistently. Um, I'm wondering what's next on your individual stationary wish list. Is there anything you're waiting to come out? Oh, Lear Lenny. So I can, I can, well, I don't know if I can help you out with that. I also have a Mac mini Mac mini is what I run my shipping departments off of. So spoke pen addict and knock shipping department is run off a of Mac mini. And it's, it's so good for that. It's so good. I think you would like it. So yeah, so like I made a list of like the the things that just came out, like the Platinum Shiyun, the Rotring Six Hundred Colors, Leonardo Primary Manipulation, Sailor Wicked Witch, Blackwing Ravi Shankar. All those were hot, hot releases. Like, is there a next hot release? Like, or is is there anything we're like anxiously waiting that has it that we've been teased on? Like the uh, the Dialogue CC. I don't know that that's like a super hype release. Like we want to see it to know if it's gonna be good right but um so the pelican ink of the year pen so that'll be the 205 translucent tony is that what you're assuming <laughs> loving your sheen i love loveless i don't i think i said this on stream tuesday or maybe it was on the podcast i can't remember the individual personal pictures of the Shiyun look better than all the marketing and the marketing looks spectacular right I think everyone's individual pictures like if they're posting them on Instagram make the pen look even better better than uh, that the PR pictures which I think is tough to do in that situation it looks great the color's great for things that aren't really out can't be ordered right now it's a Conid what is the deal with Conid? Were they on? Did they put a hold, like a twelve-month hold, on orders to catch up or something? Hey, Patrick, it's much more sparkly IRL. Yeah, I'm loving seeing the Shiyun. Like, I'm not gonna get one. Like, I I allocated that money to the the primary manipulation, and um, new colors of Twisby Eco or Eco T. I love the Eco T. Am I alone in that? I mean, the Eco T is my preferred model even though they're not that different indefinite hold on conid but the rumors may be in september okay finally made it to a live stream yay Rumi. i'm sorry we're just chatting today so i don't have any cool unboxing stuffs or cool projects to work on today we're just talking about what stationery is coming up next that we're looking looking into did pelican announce the ink of the year aren't we still in moonstone year i think we're still in moonstone year for um ink of the year right i love the eco t yeah so i have the uh the bright blue like the first one that came out i don't know what they call the color it's that bright blue um not the mint one sorry there's gifts going off in my my side view over here <clears throat> rich dicks cheers to you buddy thanks for being awesome thanks for the bits Moonstone has not gotten much hype, but no Pelican hubs. Yeah, that goes hand in hand a little bit. I honestly, the Eco and the Eco T are not that different. The T shape in the grip section is tiny. It's nothing like a Lamy Safari. It's like right on the end of the section, and it's just like a little widget thing there. Hey Coco, glad to see you again unpopular pin opinion is that twisby doesn't do it for me completely fair i totally get that let me ask you this let me expand on this cal does just the style of the pin turn you off or are you not a demonstrator fan since they're like 90 percent demonstrator in their their product offerings So I think there's two different things at play. Some people just may not like the style. And then secondly, some people don't like demonstrators. I mean, those people are wrong, just to be clear. But, you know. But, like I said, you know, I don't know why I hadn't made this, bef this link before. But, and it's a real obvious thing to say now but fountain pens and inks are like music right they're like bands 
like we all might like music but we may not like the same bands but we can all like understand like the love of music or something like that like we might not listen to the same genres of music and that's cool like i i appreciate that we can all have our different choices in this. That's why I like this so much, right? Because we can find something that's really perfect for us. And that's a lot like music, I believe. Tumula Plumula, I spent a hundred, uh, they're called ink drops, I think. Didn't I call them ink drops? Yeah, To on this message to see some glitz in chat. In chat. That's hilarious. Yeah, so there's this little ink drops thing. When I go to streaming more, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll ramp up the ink drop situation. Sometimes the color blocking looks a little child, childish uh, on Twisby, I'm assuming OSU. Completely agree. Completely agree. And um, and I am for childish. <laughs> you've met me. I mean, no, you've, you've watched me before. Hot new product, Retro 51 30th. What's y'all's thoughts on the 30th? I, it, it looks awesome. It's not for me, but they're, they're going to sell that. Um, Sarah Sarah is, is the Twisby jinx. That is true you had an inkwell break it was off-putting that was the big twisby issue in the beginning was qc gotcha that that would make that would turn you off completely cal I, that makes sense and i think that's a lot of people's twisby experience to be perfectly honest um you know the plunger gasket i've had to re-grease you know that's why they send the the silicone grease i've re-greased my twisby mini silicone gasket before when it gets stuck and it came off and like I took it apart and re-greased it and it was fine. But yeah, it's it's a fin it can be a finicky pen. Like I totally get it. Larry Lenny unable to fix it. You sh mm, I've had that happen. You should somehow be able to fix it, pull it out and reattach, but sometimes they break too, so I'm having a lot of anxiety because I just pre-ordered the 30th anniversary retro. Why is that why is that anxiety driven? Did you get the tornado, the fountain pen or the pencil or all three? Oh, you're scared that you might get left. Like they might, it might not go through because of allocation. I get that. That I understand. Like, I don't know if I'm getting my primary manipulation. I'm going to email Frank today. Frank, if you're listening, email me. I'm going to email Frank today to see if I'm going to get my primary manipulation or not. Cause I haven't heard anything and they have my money, which is cool, but I'm going to email Frank and I, I will let y'all know. I know you're, you're like waiting with bated breath. Like, oh, is Brad gonna get his pen? So, mm. yeah. So Retro did did that one a little weird, where they released it on their site before they sent it to retailers. It, did I read that correctly? Waiting for the Twisby Rainbow Seven Hundred. What is the Twisby Rainbow Seven Hundred? Is that just the? Is that um like a um anodized type of one you can't get a grip on the rod down on the barrel that stinks i feel like i've seen the twisby rainbow is it because it's anodized the 700 right question mark took a 1946 venus president to work yesterday and two of my co-workers were jazzed by the celluloid demos never get a wink at work therefore celluloid is king i don't I won't discount that. Celluloid's classic, right? Tim, I have better luck with with Twisby than most. Like my 540s never cracked. I had a problem. The only Twisby I ever had to reach out to Twisby to get fixed was my Micarta. The feed collar cracked. And I think that was a common issue with the feed collar for those Micartas. So like my Micarta is permanently stained, right? Because the feed cracks gets in the threads and um hey someone link uh beating cow primary manipulation beating cows new here trying to learn about pens Sh throw a link into uh the chat for a primary manipulation please okay osu yeah i i thought i caught that like that didn't that seemed weird to me <clears throat> so this is the vac rainbow I, I feel like i've seen this it, it'll be up in a second okay so there 
canine play has the primary manipulation ink. Yes, okay. This is exactly the vac that I thought. Okay, cool. First person to reply says, I think it looks nasty, cheap, and tacky. Yeah, I mean, they're probably not Twisby's target market. Is that your Leonardo pre-order? Um, no. Yeah, so I pre-ordered the Stromboli from Fontaplumo. And this is a standard, this is a traditional primary manipulation that Canine Play put in there. So what primary manipulation is, uh, beading, is a maker makes these acrylics by hand. And it has these great swirls in it, so it's very cool. So Coco Lena, I uh, placed my order. Uh, my money was, was paid. I got the pen, pen picked out. But I haven't heard anything since last week, so I'm going to email them today. So just to confirm, um, I purposefully ordered from someone I knew, someone I have a relationship with, so I can check. And like, if he says that, hey, I'm sorry, you're not going to get it, like I understand that going into it. I'm fine with that. Hey, Brad, a couple weeks ago here on Twitch, you advised me on the Monte Grappa. Monte Grappa. I'm required by law to say it that way. Following your advice, I purchased a used one on Slack, and I adore the pen. It is largely underrated, so thank you. I could not agree more, Stereo Sound. Obviously, you're telling me what I already know, like, but I appreciate you reaching back saying that you like it afterwards. Like Making recommendations to people, like especially when you're spending a lot of money, like that's hard. <laughs> that's nerve-wracking. I was like... Oh, beating cow, you have no idea. You have no idea. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're experiencing it. So that's the Pride Month 700 R. When are they going to release it? Like, we're past Pride Month. Are they going to, when are they going to release the 700? You got a good deal from a slacker? It's just a really well done pen. Like, it's just good, right? And I appreciate products that you pick up and you go, damn, this is good. It doesn't have to be like superstar, change the world. It has to be really good. And that's what I think the Monte Grappa is. I think it's just a rock solid, heck of a good fountain pen. My two cents. So I need, that's, see, this is why I had to unink all my pens so I could ink up things like my Monte Grappa. Um, I have a Mont Blanc. I have one single big Mont Blanc. I have a 149 that I never use. Like I figure like I should use that to see if I want to use, send it to Bucamundo. Um, Colorverse Albert. I don't know that one. Throw me a link in there. At least I'm not recalling it off the top of my head. Throw me a link to Colorverse Albert. I've never fallen in love with an ink so fast. <laughs> So, like, I got to figure out what pens. So, this is also going to be... Oh, it's the green that pairs with the orange V2. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. I know what you mean. Thank you. Um, so, cleaning out all my fountain pens is going to force me to kind of go through everything to see what I want to ink up that I didn't just ink up or just clean out. And then figure out if there's a set of pens that I'm going to sell again. Think a pen with current event themes are always falling behind. I just saw an Edison do some American patriotic stuff weeks after 4th of July and asking about which is the better looking pen. I kind of agree with that, Tumbula Pluma. Um, that's a tough, that's always a tough ask because it's very specific and it feels like that window is very small and you have to hit, you know, people's uh, shopping button, you know, very, very specifically to land successfully in that small window. So... Deatra Menace Sherlock Holmes, they have, Deatra Menace is an underrated ink for a very popular hundreds of variations of colors, level of ink. I don't think that Deatra Menace gets enough love. I like Benjamin Franklin. I think I would splurge on the Rainbow, Rainbow Twisby. I just don't love the 700. I don't think they changed that model enough, but I love how it looks. So, so late to this party, Fire and Ice in 580 Prussian Blue. You can't do much better than that fire and ice is an ink that everyone should have point blank as a as a robert oster uh disclosure as a robert oster retailer um i think everyone should own fire and ice if they do the 580 yeah i would pre-order that <laughs> 
I like the 700. I don't like it enough to want to use it every day. That rainbow Twisby 700 is the perfect giveaway pin for me. Like I would buy it because it's cool and it's awesome and someone else should have it because I'm not going to use it. You need to get some sheen happy paper. Yeah. So yeah, so what are the, are we looking forward to anything anything else right now? That's what I'm trying to think of right now. Oh, a rainbow mini. That'd be great. They haven't made any new minis recently, have they? Rebazols, 14 months. Thank you. What sheen happy paper would I recommend besides Tomoe River? I mean, that's kind of the best. Uh, Rhodia, probably next. Kaveco Black Crystal, what is that? Does anyone have a link to the... Do you have a link, Kokorski, for the Kaveco Classic Black Crystal? That sounds interesting to me, but I don't know what that is. Shy Panda, I think they might overtake Sailor as my number one ink. Robert Oster, that is. Um, you know, like I say, disclosure, I work with them to make inks for me. No news on the next ink, by the way. Um, he's a little bit slammed right now. No pen related stuff right now. Yep, I'm here. Clear sport, black nib, clip, and logo. I have not seen that. Oof. Damn, they want $70 for that? Sorry, I said that out loud. I mean, that's great, but the classic's a $25 pen. Okay, this, y'all go, y'all gonna make me mad now. Look what you done did. Huh. Why is this so expensive? The nib is DLC coded, fine. Wow. Gumbo Man Pat, do you have a link to the steel nib sailor? How does bank paper differ than Tomoe? It's very textured and it's very flat. Not very flat, somewhat flat of a color. <laughs> a little more saturated color in there. So it's very different. Oh, let me put this up on here. I have Yeah, so it's limited to a thousand, I guess. Why can't this be forty five dollars? Fifty-five. Hmm. The art sports have lost their mind. The first round of art sports were really expensive, and then when they redid them, it's just not even on my radar anymore. Foolish Fox, get the Life A5 pad for bank paper. That's your best entry point to bank paper. It's reasonably priced, and you can see if you like it without committing too much. Yobo, I am new to fountain pens. Have a Twisby Eco coming in today. I've read some comments mentioning Twisby Horror Stories. Is there a QC thing I should be looking out for? I don't think so, especially the Eco. The Eco has been traditionally a very good QC on the Eco. Some of the larger models, like the 580 traditionally with plastic sections, had some issues, sometimes the piston issues. I've never had an issue with an Eco, and it's probably one of my most recommended pens. So, All right, let's look at... Uh, 
let's look at the i i have thoughts on this kaveco yeah we're going to talk about that next week on the podcast thank you for sending me that link um sailor compass 1911 well embiggen please embiggen embiggen so let me tell you about uh sailor and their steel nibs they have traditionally sucked this looks like a different nib than what they've used in the past the price point is really good i am a hundred percent for this this is what sailor this is one thing lacking in sailor's lineup is a really good entry level fountain pen even though it's forty dollars it's not competing with platinum or pilot they need a revamp of the pro color line because they are traditionally terrible i have had very bad experience with sailor steel nibs this looks great if they can deliver a nib on this one i'm in that olive's pretty cool only comes in medium fine yeah that's kind of my jam so i'm okay with that why isn't there orange what is wrong with them that pink's pretty good your last two pro colors were great good and include what size range it is it says 1911 i'm sure it's 1911 standard not large would be my guess converter matches the uh the pen color does it yeah they i those converters are like an eight that they charge like eight or ten dollars for those converters if you buy them separately the only sailor steel nib that ever worked good for me was the high ace neo which is kind of a crappy pen barrel but that nib was pretty good I love the High Ace Neo. $20 is too much for it. The High Ace Neo needs to be their $10 pen. I mean, it's the single cheapest barrel possible. And that cap treatment is ugly. Look at that. That looks like butts. All right, what's this one? Edison. Oh god, this is going to this is going to scare me. July 16th. Woof. Ernest, Ernest doing work. This is not my style, but that is good looking. That's pretty cool. That is really nice. 10 of them. Yeah, these will sell out real quick. 1250, wow. Yeah, that seems right. I love Ernest's work this 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 one's not for me i really i really hate the clip i almost wish the clip would just been left alone or left off it looks weird it's really pretty though i love ernest's work ernest's work <clears throat> Have y'all seen some of the old uh, Edison Ernest Shin um, pens? Man, I've tried to buy. I met Ernest once at DC, and like tried to buy. Like he, I was trying to get him to sell his uh, some of his prototypes to me, and he wouldn't do it. We were we were peer pressuring, and me and Thomas Hall and someone else were trying to peer pressure him into selling me one of his <laughs> one of his pens, and he wouldn't do it. I don't blame him. Or an artist proof, I, I shouldn't say prototype. But I love his work. It's very pretty. Cool. Um, let's go back to this. What is happening here? This one's going to bug me. Plus that logo reminds me of like British Knights. Y'all remember British Knights? B -b -b British Knights. Y'all remember that? Tennis shoes. I guess they still make them. 
Cool. These are some good stuff. What else do you want to send me? You got any other good stuff to send me? What did Tessa send up here? Let me see. Kaveco Art Sport. When was this one? 2015. That was when they were reasonably priced. Now they're stupidly priced. I'm telling you, that is like... Isn't that like the... I'll have to look at the... I don't remember, but the, the BKs. I had BKs when I was in, in high school. <laughs> That reminds, that looks like the, the BK. <laughs> to, that's what I have in my head for the British Knights logo, except I think it was like just a diamond maybe thing, a different diamond. I wonder if that clip comes off the pin. It should. Most of Kaveco's clips are slide on. So let's see. They probably have a picture of it. I will probably get this Kaveco, but I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> Is that? I'll have to pull this up. Y'all will have to check later. It almost looks like it's inset. Like I know you can't see this on stream, but most when you the the Kaveco clips are are side are slide on. This looks like it's inset. Like the edges of the clip are flush with the edge of the barrel, like right here. So I don't know. Why isn't that Kaveco $45? Did you miss our earlier conversation? That that was my exact statement. If the clip inset is inset, it makes me want it more. Is that weird? No. I will buy this pen. I'm not going to be happy about it, but I'm going to buy I'm Well, I'm going to attempt to buy it. I, there's a thousand of them. That should be easy to buy. It is really good looking. I've never seen an inset one either. It could just be this the visual of the black and the white in the photograph. It's hard to see. But Kaveco's clips always sit above the barrel because they're post-manufacturing attachment, right? I don't know. Hmm. I, I, I will get that pen. It, that is a lot of money for what it is. Like, they're pushing it there. They are really pushing it. Mm. Protest noted. <laughs> I I, <laughs> I can take a stand, Miss G's Crafties. I'm gonna buy it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Take my money. Stupid Kaveco limited editions. What about the collector's edition? Did y'all see that? Are y'all down with what they're doing with what do they call in that? Collector's edition? The coral one? Yeah, Evan, I don't have any of the clear ones. So that there you go. There's my justification. I don't have any clear Kavecos, so there you go. I need that one. Well, I will say, uh, Mr. Cool, we talk about pens. Here, I'll give I'll give you a pen picture. You can tell me what you think. Uh where'd it go? You missed me yelling about this Kaveco, Tony. Where is it? So we we really we talk about pens. So you missed me yelling about that. So they're they're at least um, doing the DVR coating, which is better than like the ion plating, right? It should last. It's a more expensive procedure. Um, they need to apply that to the clip too. Hopefully, they didn't specifically say that it was going to be on the clip. DLC. What I said, I said DVR. What am I recording this? The DLC coding. I wish the Sailor cocktails were more available. Yeah, those are pretty cool. <laughs> I know this is a this is a protest buy. I am recording this, so yeah. That seemed so. Evan, what they did for that edition is way less than what they're doing for this edition. This should be the collector's edition. That should be Facebook group edition. That's a phoned in thing. Like I could get that, like get the pen addict on the side of that and I'd be happy with that. But like it's the way it's set. 
and it's the it's the same color as Fonta Plumo. If I was Fonta Plumo, I'd be kind of ticked, right? The coral. So yeah, I'm glad I'm not on Facebook, so I don't have to know any of those things. Can you tell me some good brands of pens? Do you like to write with like gel pens or things like that? Because we talk about fountain pens a lot, but there's lots of good gel pens and ink pens. So anything by Uniball, Pilot, or Pentel, you're going to be happy with. I will tell you that just as a general rule of thumb. So how much should this pen be, Tony? That's what you missed. How much would you? How much would this pen be, or should this pen be? Because I, I argue that it should be forty-five to fifty-five, not seventy-five. Oh, that's how out of the loop I am on this, Evan. That the Fonta Plumo was announced after that. I don't. I don't. Yeah, that seems weird. Tessa, that's a fair statement. I think I love Caveco Sports, but have stopped liking the nibs after trying Twisby Steel nibs fair yeah it's plastic it's basic acrylic uh dlc coating on the nib so it doesn't uh change colors does caveco do country specific limited editions they do store specific region uh, store specific editions i'm not sure if they do region specific editions oh that's true coco the the black crystal is a u.s exclusive so there you go so it's a regular sport demo with plated hardware right Yes, I'd say that's a generally right with an upgraded coating on the nib. Gummo Man Pat, 10 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, 45 was my initial thought. Why isn't this 45? It's also, it's limited to 1,000, okay? So it, there's, there's that. But yeah, I said 45, right? I, I don't... I'm, I'm going to buy this in protest. I mean, Pelican does it too, Patrick. So just to get them all down there, Mr. Cool, one, two, three, four. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So yeah, like, and plus they, there's a lot of uh, regional shipping, regional price differences that are, are hard to explain rationally to me, like things I don't do. Kaveco needs to do more colors in their art sports. I wonder if that's a um, a leftovers product, right? Are they ordering new celluloids? Right, you get my drift. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put my pre-order in for the for the rage buy. Uh, this afternoon. I got it myself a note here. I really like this Joker Brass Town. I just don't know that I'm going to get to make it, Tessa. Too much purple recently. I Purple's banned. <laughs> Brady Dowdy LLC for design and marketing decision making. That's funny. I will I will give Kaveco credit. They're doing a, they do a really good job. They do a really good job. Um, Lamy, I can't get over how huge Lamy is. If y'all really look into it, it's impressive what they're doing. And I just see that they're, I just see so much on the table that they're leaving. Uh, Pelican, they can do no wrong. They can do whatever the hell they want, except the, the pricing thing with Pelican. That doesn't make any sense. But Pelican can do no wrong in my book, pretty much. They don't need any help. They are uh, they are really good at what they do. And I think Coveco does really, really good marketing. We how do how do we not have a bee themed Lamy, Jackie? So I bought the I bought the black and yellow Pico. That was one, uh, another one. Miss G's Crafties, if you're keeping keeping track, I bought that Lamy Pico in protest. That was like a $70 Lamy Pico. That was ridiculous, but I bought it and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> you still never used a Lamy 2000? You know what, Sarah? As great as the Lamy 2000 is, I would say you're not missing anything, right? It's very different, it's very unique feeling, but it's black, it's a black pen. 
silver trim, hooded nib design, different feel. But I want to say you're not missing anything. Even though it's like one of those pins that kind of everyone should should try. Yeah, I've posted about their bees before. I, how do they, how they don't have a B series that goes to expanding their B B uh, caretaking experience or um you know expanding B um what's the word I'm looking for like charities and things like that. So yeah, I love them. Oh, nice, Jason. They should make some mead. So yeah, like to have a any kind of bee theme pen, it has to be at the top of their priority list. They need a bee stamped nib. I mean, they need to go all in. Look at the look at the Pikachu Lamy and tell me they can't make a killer Lamy bee pen. Safari. Lamy needs to do more colors. That'd be my first my first action as uh, head of Lamy Design would be to do transparent colors in the um uh uh, uh that al <laughs> that, that <laughs> in that one the uh vista jeez in the vista that would be my first act as lami's head of design as we're doing transparent color vistas rainbow poof, right out the gate Tim Godby, that's, I think you said it exactly right. I own a Lamy 2000 because of its historical and design significance. It's a fine rider, but I would and do choose my Sailor 1911L over it every time, 100%. On, on both parts of that statement, I agree with. Oh, Mark, where did you order that from? So Mark ordered the, the Stormtrooper Safari that I posted. Where did you order it from and how much was it? Oh, Evan, you have the Pikachu Safari there? That's awesome. I need to see if I have a Pikachu Safari. I bought a few and I gave them away, but for some reason I think I have one floating around the closet. I know I have a Lion Bear Safari, the brown one, the first brown one. <laughs> if I'm going to spend Lamy 2K money, and I don't usually, so it'll be a special occasion like Christmas or birthday, I'm going to get something else, probably like a Sailor or a 3776 or Pilot. I, I tend to agree, Patrick. I, I really do. Lamy needs to stop overcharging for special edition 2000s. Yeah, that's no joke. Is, trying, is Lamy trying to get more box store sales and believing the enthusiast community will come along no matter what? I think that's generally accurate from what I see, Cal. The footprint that they currently have is shocking. And it's working ebay 56 plus shipping cool that seems really good that seems like uh what it should be priced that seems like what that caveco should be priced the second brown line safari i most regret skipping when i found it cheap but it was still 70 for a safari that's fair that one i know i have i gotta see if i have a pikachu somewhere i might have given them all away All right, we're going to wrap it up here in a minute, gang. Kids home alone today. I got to get back. Got paid today for the first time in four months. Oof. Want to spend all the money? Yeah. Well, you're in the right place, Schmevelin. You know that. All right, anything else we need to, need to cover before I wrap it up? Great show today, just chatting. I like when we can just chat. Like, I didn't have anything planned today. Uh, didn't have any show and tells. Um, I wanted to talk about new products. Y'all showed me a few things that I wasn't aware of. The Kaveco and the Sailor. Um, I'm this on the Kaveco. I'm this on the Sailor. So, Brad, question. Good luck with your angry purchase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Pilot Custom 74 or Sailor 1911? 74 is the round, the round tip one, right? The round finials. You made me buy more notebooks that I don't need. Yeah, that's what I do. Thank you, Tim. So we got two for the sailor, for the 74. 
one for the 3776, two for the sailor. Yes, be, 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 I'm assuming standard. Oh, Zoop Doop, I missed your, I think you missed my earlier question when you talked about bank paper the last two streams and I was wondering if you could explain what it is. So bank paper, the stationary makers that are making it now make a paper that has texture to it but handles fountain pen inks well, which is not something that normally goes hand in hand. So fountain pen papers are traditionally glossy and smooth. This one has a little bit of texture, so it's not for everyone, but they found it to be, um, it holds ink colors very, very well. The ink doesn't soak into the paper. Um, and it's just a good performance paper. And it's really good for other pens, like Tomoe River paper that we talk about all the time for fountain pens. It's really not great for gel pens and pencils, where bank paper, you can use them all. You're not going to get the pure sheen and shade out of a Tomoe River, and it's going to have a little texture. It's a little bit different feeling on your nibs, but uh, that's what it is. It's, it's kind of a, a lightly textured paper that holds fountain pen ink very well. Patrick, so did you get an answer? I don't think you got an answer. I would pick, I love the 1911S. What size nib are you getting? What size nib are you considering? The larger the nib, the more I lean towards platinum. The finer the lib, nib i lean towards sailor which means i put the 74 third but that's not a wrong answer either big multi-pin box set why do you need a multi-pin box set are there different barrel colors did i miss this big conversation i saw that flying through the chat this was fun i feel like i'm an adult again that's nice tessa You want a next level pen for Christmas? I think I'm taking 74 off the list and it's gonna be 1911S depending on the color. And if you like a fine, medium fine nib, probably that. If you want a medium or a broad nib, probably one of the platinum 3776s. How's that for an answer? Rewiz, love that emote. One of these days, I want to get my Twisby Fine ground to finer. Feels big compared to Plazier. It it should be bigger than your Plazier Fine, right? So that's one step up. Those nibs are not comparable in line width. Twisby Fine and any Japanese Fine like Platinum is not comparable. They should not be the same line width. You would need a Twisby Extra Fine to come close to the Plazier Fine nib. That's a bad answer only because you think the answer should be 3776. I, I'm not going to disagree with that, but I, I like the stiffness and feedbacky of the Sailor fine nibs. Platinum F is the best F. Big box nib. Holy cow. All right. I'm behind that, Evan. I am pro that set. I like it. And if you buy it, you can send me the orange one. Platinum Soft Fine is your favorite nib. Sheen has an EF nib, and I like it way better than Pilot. Y'all aren't wrong. Y'all aren't wrong. So maybe 3776 is the answer. I don't know. I don't know. I love my 1911S Tangerine. That's such a great pen. Any love for the Platinum UEF? I need to get one. They just don't make it in cool barrels, right? If they made it in cool barrels, I'd, I'd get one to have. And they're always gold nibs. I want a, a rhodium plated one. They just need, if I can get a UEF in something besides what they always sell the UEF in, I'll do it.
you're afraid of the UEF that you should be it's it's not for everybody and this is coming from someone who loves that size of nib even the UEF it may not be for me hearing the Korean exchange rate on the shoe might makes it tempting in that's beautiful yeah the overseas prices on that are fair hey I'm supposed to be ending this podcast but y'all are too great I mean this this twitch stream but y'all are too awesome but I gotta go Twisby Blue Prussian Broad Nib had to send it back. Wonky Nib. I'm interested to try my 1.1 based on Patrick's feedback. Hugo, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you. And we're going to wrap it up there, chat. We're going to let the cheerleaders take us out. Let's go. Go team. Spartan, Spartans. All right. I'm out. I could stay here all day. And as soon as I get that fiber, we will stay here all day. Love y'all.